Huh, the hood's up on the excursion. Uh-oh. According to my app, it is 90 degrees here today. And the humidity is yes. Welcome to the south. Well, yes, earlier this morning, I started working on the excursion, getting that all done. And then the batteries for my drill that runs the little special Brillo pads that I have died. So I said, okay, I'll switch my batteries out. Well, that one's dead too. So I'm waiting for the batteries to charge up and I figured I'd give you all a little update on what's going on with, well, everything. So yes, finally trying to get some work done on the excursion. Um, it's been hectic. Uh, really all I'm doing today is just trying to clean the mating surfaces here for the head gaskets and put the cylinder heads on. I'm not trying to put the cylinder heads on today. I'm just doing a little bit of prep work just to kind of get into the swing of working on a car again, cause I don't know if y'all know this, but I bought a house recently and that's not me trying to one up Jacob because he bought a new truck. No, 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 that's not what I'm trying to do here. See, and if you know anything about buying a house, you know it's a long and arduous process. And I had started the whole ordeal of buying this house well before that little pickup even became a glimmer in Jacob's eye. So yeah, I was first. <laughs> but also with purchasing a house, unless you purchase a house brand new, you're gonna have a few issues and stuff and whatnot here and there. So I've been busy doing a few little fixes and whatnot on certain things in this house because you know, hey, I wanna be comfortable in this house. And that's why my garage is a mess. I've been busy fixing my house and not fixing my cars. Anyway, here's my house. You wanna take a tour? Too bad, this is shift heads, not house hunters. But I am enjoying being a homeowner. It's actually pretty cool because if I wanted to paint these walls a different color, I can. I don't have to ask anybody. I'll just fucking do it. <laughs> the actual moving of everything over here was actually pretty interesting because I got to drive the Explore over here and I instantaneously fell in love with it all over again. And as an incentive to get that up and going to the point where I can drive it legally on the roads again and have fun with it, I need to get the excursion done first. So that's why I parked it back there up against the fence so I can't pull it out or anything very easily without first fixing the excursion. I think I also have the problem with this place that I had at the other place. It seems that everybody does yard work every day. I'm not kidding. My next door neighbor, I, you know what? He's an old, old man. He's retired from the electric company. I, I, he's, he's out there every day with the leaf blower blowing leaves off of his lawn every day i'm not kidding when i say every day every single day he's out there at some point with his leaf blower he's blowing leaves off of his lawn and his lawn looks great for it but it looks like crap in two hours again <laughs> you know what speaking of yard work look at all this shrubbery around the excursion that might start growing up through the engine bay. Homeowner crap. So while we're waiting for these batteries for my tools to charge, let's talk about my good buddy, Jeff. Now, Jeff is an extraordinary fellow who is the brains and the bronze of Metal Monkey Fabrication in Beaumont, California. Jeff has been building off-road trucks for, well, ages, really. I mean, ever since he got out of the service, he's been building off-road trucks and he's really, really good at it. He's learned a lot along the way and he wants to teach people how to properly weld and do fabrication. So. Over on his channel, he's actually starting to drop some hints and tips and tricks and show you the neat, awesome, interesting tools that he gets to play with on a regular basis. So if you're interested in learning on how to do welding and fabrication for roll cages, suspensions, and all kinds of stuff, go check out Jeff's channel. It'll be linked down in the description. Give him a like, give him a follow. I'm sure he'll appreciate it. So yeah, go check out Jeff. 
He's very entertaining. A lot more entertaining than watching me do yard work. So there you go. Still not charging. What's what's that what's that saying? A a watch boil never no. A a boil watch never no. A watch pot never boils. I just quit looking at it, Landon. Oh, I do need to tell you folks, there is a little bit of an update as far as the F-150 is concerned. Um, and I'm absolutely speechless. There, there hasn't been a damn thing wrong with this truck ever, so, except for the fact that it's dirty. But eh, it's my daily, whatever. So yeah, so far it's been a kick-ass truck. I put just over 10,000 miles on it since I got it in January, I think. Did I get it in January? I'll have to check that. Uh, yeah, actually, the beginning of January, yes, yes. And I've actually put 13,000 miles on it. So, so far, no problems. Just one oil change and fantastic driving. It's still a great truck, love it. Anyway, folks, I hate to cut this one short, but my neighbor's landscapers just showed up. And I think by the time these batteries are done charging, I'm gonna have to go pick up my son from daycare. Sorry, it's a bit of a short video, but it's all I've got for now. And hopefully that we can do a lot more and we'll catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching.